Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back. Welcome to Fort Destiny. Just a video I wanted to do because we were curious and we were, well, by we, I mean Beam, Cad, Moon. Uh, all curious of all the different cutscenes and marriages because there's so many different romanceable characters in this game. So we put a video or clips together of every date, cutscene, proposal cutscene, and marriages. So hope you enjoy. First off, I really also want to thank Beam and Moon because without them, this video would have taken me months to do, but they spent a lot of hours getting all these characters with me to, uh, Married, marriageable, marriedable, you know what I mean. Enjoy. And I almost forgot to remind you that Beamer taught me if you finish the story before you get married, things change on the wedding. So stay till the end and you'll see that as the last wedding in the game. Oh my, it smells amazing in here. Sophia, I can't wait to eat. It's delicious. Trust me. But first, I don't know if I can make it through this whole romantic meal if I don't know how you feel. Tara, I can't stop thinking about you. After Sahar, my ex from Tedon, ended things, I thought, there it goes. My only chance at real romance. But then you moved here, and I fell for you even faster than I fell for Sahar. So, there it is. I have said it, and now we can feast. I can't stop thinking about you either. There we go. It makes farm tours really difficult when I... Uh, now I am high enough with uh, uh, her. About you. Let's see. Oh. oh, it makes me so happy. This is better than watching Okay, so I gotta on work TV. her one more. Okay. All right. You're here. Well, I wanted to make a romantic meal, but I'm not exactly a great cook. So, I thought, a picnic. Amira, you made the cloth into a picnic blanket. Yes. <laughs> Come on, sit down with me, Tara June. I want to teach you a little something about Persian culture. Do you know what tarof is? No, but I'll listen to you explain anything. Tarof is politeness. Extreme politeness. According to Tarov, if you offer me a cup of tea, I have to turn it down, at least a few times before I can accept. When I would go out to eat with my mom and her brothers, I sometimes thought they were going to get into a fist fight, and all for the right to pay for everyone's food. <laughs> I used to think Tarov was silly, <sighs> but now that I live far from my family, I think Tarov can be beautiful. It's like a delicate dance of care and gratitude. Here, let's try it. Would you like some jewelry, Azizan? It's the piece you were admiring in Francis's shop. Oh, you would really... Uh, no, no, I can't accept that. Are you sure, Muj? I got this just for you, because I adore you. Oh, it's as beautiful as I remember, but you should keep this for yourself. Tara, my love, it would be my pleasure for you to have this. Can I say yes now? <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, oh my gosh. Wait, did you call me my love? Well, I... I love you. I love you too, Amira. And if I ask to kiss you, do you have to turn me down three times? <laughs> Let's not, and say we did. Amira, I have some jewelry I think you'll really like. What? Iron isn't usually my style, but this... Oh, Moosh. I know you're busy being a doctor, but do you have time to make an honest doctor's wife out of me? Oh, nothing could make me happier. Could our celebration be a simple one? And fast, too. I don't want to wait. I was hoping you would say that. Next week? Perfect. I'll set everything up at Town Hall. Right. Oh, Tara, you look so... 
No, I can't cry. Oh, my mascara will run. Even if your face was covered in mascara, you take my breath away. I am honored today to preside over the wedding of one of our town's most esteemed residents. Aw, shucks. To this farmer girl, Amira, do you take Tara to be your wife? Oh, yes. You don't have to keep seducing her, Amira. She's already marrying you. Hush, hush. Tara, do you take Amira to be your wife? Yes. I now pronounce you married. I wish you both the love and loyalty I have with my darling Vanessa. <laughs> I'll give you much, much more than that, Moosh. Oh, shh. Don't let them hear. Sophia, it smells heavenly in here. <laughs> Tara, when I moved here, I had no idea if the community was going to welcome me or just reject me and my ideas outright. But now my consciousness center is a safe haven for my members, and I find myself wanting to put down roots too. I don't want to freak you out, but I could really see myself having a future with you. I just need to know how you feel. I might not fully understand your mission, but I feel a real connection with you, Cameron. Oh, that's sweet. What is love is not two souls finding each other. Cameron, this is beautiful, if kind of a fire hazard. <laughs> is it too much? Uh, I just wanted it to be special. When I first started climbing the mountain of consciousness, I always assumed I would be alone. I never imagined I would meet someone with whom I could walk the path. I want to be by your side always. Both of us working to better ourselves while supporting each other in our journeys. I would really like for you to have this. This is gorgeous. It doesn't look like the other level up medals you've given out. Oh, no, this isn't from the League. Right now, I'm not. Messenger Connor, I'm just Cameron. That necklace was my mother's, but now I want you to have it. Wow. I don't know what to say other than I love it. And you. I love you too, Tara. Cameron, I have a gift for you. I, I don't know. Well, who would perform the ceremony? It can't be me, can it? First things first. Will you marry me, Cameron? I'm sorry. I mean, yes, of course I'll marry you. <laughs> Mayor Sof could marry us. Oh, that's true. Okay, I'll set everything up for next week. As the leader of our town's new spiritual center, Messenger Cameron might be expected to officiate weddings, but he can hardly marry himself, can he? <laughs> so, happily, the task falls to moi, the leader of our town's... town. Truly, this is so romantic. Today we celebrate his marriage to, um... Tara Wild. Tara Wild, yes, delightful. Vanessa and I wish you all the health and happiness in the world. I now pronounce you messenger and wife. Uh, did, didn't he skip some bits? I could have done a less awkward job myself. Let's just go so we can enjoy our first day as a married couple. Oh, she's even open late for us. Let's see if this is adorable. Sophia, or... it smells so good in here. Whatever you're making, it is gonna be awesome. Oh, she agrees. Tara, I don't want to, you know, like freak you out or anything, but. 
I have something I want to tell you. I like you. Like, really like you. I think... I think I want to get serious. Whew. Oh, man. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, but just yesterday you were talking about Giba, and then you were talking about Vanessa. So the problem... I don't want to just jump. I'm sure we can break up with him, right? So yeah, I don't... He was an option. We'll we'll see how this works out. I really like you too. Seriously. Oh, my little Polpetto has grown up and fallen in love. <sighs> okay, nobody said anything about the L word. Oh, there we go. We made so, it. So, what do you think? Damon, this is so pretty. And also a bit of a fire hazard. Well, I'm not going to leave the bar like this all the time. This is just for you. For me? Aw. Why? Because, uh, how do I say this without sounding corny? You make me feel like I have all these candles in my chest. When my parents moved home, I thought about going too, but I didn't. I wasn't sure why. Now you're here, and I think I made the right call to stay. There's this Zulu idea called Ubuntu. My mom talks about it a lot. It means I am because we are. Ever since she and my dad left, I've been thinking about ways, you know, ways that we're all connected. I didn't realize you thought about this kind of stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Bartender slash witches slash class clowns have deep thoughts all the time, kitten. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> here's another one. I think you and I make each other into complete people. My mom told me to give this necklace to someone special, and that's you. I... Okay. Here it comes. I... I love you. I love you, too. You're my favorite bartender slash witch slash class clown. That's a relief. There are so many in Fairhaven. Oh, but you're the cutest. <laughs> oh, that was adorable. Never Demon, know. I have a gift for you. Kid, I was gonna do that. Will you marry me, Damon? Of course. I, you want to do it right now? <laughs> or maybe next week? Yeah, that's what I said. I got you. I'll set everything up in the woods. Aww, that's cute. Don't we look up? Finally, a wardrobe change. And everybody's here. This tree is My mother my view. once said, every pot has a lid, no matter how odd-shaped or ill-fitting. So, that's nice. Am I the pot or the lid in this scenario? Vanessa <laughs> and I wish you all the health and happiness in the world. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, that was short and sweet. Uh, didn't he skip some bits? Forget it. Let's just go to the bar before he starts talking again. Ah, I need to fix the clipping on the kiss. I like everyone's here. I will say, don't get married in the fall. At least do it. get engaged before. Or after. Goodness, Goodness. Sophia's, Sophia's making, making something, something impossibly delicious, delicious, isn't she? Isn't she? Uh, those, those smells. smells. <laughs> there, there's, there's something there's else something I want to tell you, Tara. Tara. When I came when out I to came my out parents, to parents, I was, I was also, also partying. partying. A, lot. A lot. After they cut, After me, they cut off, me off, I cleaned, I cleaned up my, my life. life. It was the it was hardest the thing I've thing ever, I've done, ever and done, and I'm, I'm always, always afraid, afraid, of afraid of a relapse. But with you, but with you I'm, not I'm not afraid. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> When I see when you, I see my you, stomach, stomach feels, feels like, like an extra, an extra tropical, tropical cyclone. cyclone. What I mean, what I mean is, is, I really, really like you. Like you. I'm, 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 not I'm not great, great at, weather at weather metaphors, metaphors but, but you make, you me, make feel me feel like, like a sunny, a sunny spring, spring day. day. <laughs> what I'm trying to what say, trying say is, is that... Is that I really, really like you like too. It's simultaneous cyclogenesis. You two are you like, two the, are weather like channel, the weather channel, but with more, with flirting. more flirting. You came. Here's some raspberry orange herbal tea that I've been saving. 
and your lovely muffins. And as the pièce de résistance, one of my radio song balloons. Count down from ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I used so many balloons testing my theory that the air current up here would catch the pedals, but it was all worth it. I can't believe you did all of this for me. I care about you so much, Tara, and that's unusual for me. My only serious girlfriend, other than you, was back in boarding school. I couldn't put on spectacles of affection like this for Alice. Why not? The school was quite conservative. That's English boarding school culture for you. I couldn't run the risk of the administration telling my parents. But nobody in Fairhaven gives a fig about who I love, as long as I'm happy. I can express my feelings however I want, so I will. I love you, Tara Wilde. I love you too, Giva. Give me your cup. I'll pour you some tea. <laughs> and there it is. Proof that you love me. <laughs> Giva, I have something special for you. Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> Lena told me what this kind of ring means. Will you marry me, Giva? <laughs> yes! I never thought this would happen for me. <laughs> Where do you want to get married? Oh, if the forest will do. I don't need anything fancy when I've got you. <laughs> I am honored today to preside over the wedding of one of our town's most brilliant residents. Aw, shucks. To this farmer girl. Vanessa and I wish you all the health and happiness in the world. I now pronounce you wife and wife. Uh, didn't he skip some bits? Oh, hush, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that everyone came to see us show off our love for each other. Oh, we're sitting at the bar with him. Oh, Sophia, it smells killer in here. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we eat, I want to tell you something, Tara. This might, like, surprise you, but I've been offered a spot in a surf competition in Australia next year. I've been wanting to leave the island for a while now, but I suddenly feel like I have a reason I might want to stay. That reason being... You. Dude. You gotta say something. I'm into you too, Kai. But I don't want you to miss out on a great opportunity because of me. Nah, it, it won't be for a while. I just wanted you to know so we could, like, uh, tell each other our truths. Oh, this is like a scene out of a movie. And you both have movie star hair, too. Oh. <laughs> Hi, you're right. The view is beautiful. Tara, it's not just the view I wanted to share with you. The only person I've ever told is Dr. Syed. I had asthma when I was a kid. Like, it was really bad. But one day, I saw these surfers ripping down the line, and I knew I had to be out there. For a long time in my life, I felt like I couldn't take a deep breath physically and, like, spiritually you know i think that's why i've jumped around so much but with you it's different Aww. i just want to stay put and breathe life in oh, this is gorgeous where did you get this <laughs> i found the pearl on the beach back home in Kauai. i don't know why but it makes me think of you i would be super stoked if you accepted it wow i don't know what to say other than I love it. And you. 
I love you too, Tara. Aww. Aww. Put that what we don't need. All right. Hey, Kai. This isn't surfing related, but I hope you'll like it anyway. Whoa, sunshine. Days, this is just far out. Whoa. Is that a yes? Will you marry me? I will marry you so That's hard. Should we elope right now? Oh, that would be epic. I agree, but let's let's wait a little. Like until next week. Oh, awesome. Uh, I'll let everyone know they need to get ready to party. Oh, that was cute. That was adorable, and he calls you sunshine. I don't see grandma. I know it's sad. They need to write her in. I had to make sure, though. Yeah. Holy. I think I just forgot how to breathe. You look so look pretty, Tara. So do you. Uh -huh. You're the prettiest surfer around. Have a nice <clears throat> I would like to begin by thanking Kai and Tara for giving me the honor of presiding over their special day. Uh, I'm tearing up over here. Kai, do you take Tara to be your wife? I sure do, brah. Tara, do you take Kai to be your husband? I do. Bruh. I now pronounce <laughs> you married. I wish you both the love and loyalty I have with my darling with Vanessa. My Shh, brother, we know. <laughs> Aw, that was cute. That was adorable. <laughs> Let's go down to the beach and sit in the surf. Just you and me. Juliet's been at. I think she feels. She has. Are you ready for our al fresco dinner? Yep, I've got a fresh baked loaf right here. Perfect. Let's go. I'll just say it, Tara. I didn't ask you to join me so that we could have a nice meal. There's also something I've been working up the courage to say. I care for you. A lot. Oh, Wesley. I feel the same way. Really? Even though I'm sometimes like this? If it were nighttime, I might go in for a kiss right now. All right, what's your scheme, honey? I made you roast salmon the way my Nana taught me. She used to tell me stories while she cooked. Do you want to hear one? Of course I do. <clears throat> Once upon a time, a man found a falcon's feather and gave it to his youngest daughter, Alanushka. That night, an enormous falcon landed on Alanushka's window. But when it saw her, the falcon turned into a man, finished. Finished and Alanushka fell in love. But Alanushka's jealous sisters put knives on her window. When Finnis landed, he cried out and flew all the way back to the magical land where he lived. Alanushka went on a long journey to Finnis's land, where she finally found him and told him she hadn't been the one to hurt him. And then what? Did they live in Alanushka's country or Finnis's? None of the stories say. But I still like it. Nobody judges the fair maiden for loving someone who turns into an animal. I want us to be able to make a life together, even if it's hard. Because I love you. This is that collection of Russian fairy tales I told you about. I want you to have it. Oh, Wesley, thank you. I love you too. And for the record, I prefer werewolves to wear falcons. Wesley, I have a gift for you. Is this what I think it is? Uh-huh. Will you marry me, Wesley? Yes. Let's do it right now. Or maybe next week. <laughs> okay. I'll set everything up in the forest. Uh, I just wish my family could come. 
Oh well. Hey, can we serve salmon at the wedding? It might surprise you to hear this, but the bride and I have one thing in common today. We both had the good sense to marry Milkwater citizens! <laughs> I jest! Today we celebrate their marriage and officially welcome Wesley as a new citizen of Fairhaven. Let's go. I really want to get home before the sun sets. And also, you know, it's honeymoon time. been kind of a blunt person and I don't know how to dance around things really so I'll just say it. my road to self-acceptance was long but I'm there now I really like who I am and I like you I feel something happening between us but if you don't I'm, I'm cool either way I just want you to feel free to be upfront with me about how you feel I feel the same way Kim I've been trying to figure out how to tell you. Yay! Maybe I really am a matchmaker. <sighs> I love love. It calm. No rampaging witches. Well, usually not. Though you're welcome to rampage over to my fishing spot anytime. <laughs> so, you're not mad about me being a witch babe come on i get it sometimes you have to keep parts of yourself secret because you don't know if the people around you will understand but i am never ever gonna judge you for who you are <laughs> jeez don't mind me just tearing up over here i had a feeling you'd believe i'm a witch <laughs> it's a weight off my shoulders now that you know my secret i'll tell you a secret too I think you're the cutest farmer in Fairhaven. <laughs> Between you and Thomas, no contest. Hey, Thomas is a fine-looking gentleman. Sure, sure. Not my type, though. Hey, I promised myself when I came to Fairhaven that I was going to live 100% as me. Part of that is accepting and supporting the people I love when they're living 100% as themselves. So I'll always be here when you want to talk. Honey... Oh, come on. I'm gonna cry my face off. No, oh, I'll still love and support you, even if you have no face. I did. When Orihime and Hikoboshi fell in love, Orihime stopped weaving cloth for the Sky King, and Hikoboshi let his cows stray all over heaven, so the Sky King separated them. Oh, that's terrible. But Orihime's tears moved the king to pity and he agreed to let them meet on the seventh day of the seventh month if she finished her weaving in time. But when the day arrived, there was no bridge for them to cross to reach each other. So a flock of magpies made a bridge with their wings so the lovers could be together. That is a really romantic story. I feel like I've been waiting more than seven months to meet someone like you. I've been waiting my whole life. I love you, Tara. Oh, Kim. I love you too. Wait a moment. Am, am I the cowherd in this story? Well, obviously. <laughs> great. That's great. Hey. Uh, I have a gift for you. <gasps> oh, you beat me to it. Will you marry me, Kim? Uh, of course. When? Let's do it now. <laughs> Or maybe next week? Oh, yeah, sorry, I just got excited. I'll set everything up at the Silver Willow Tree. Wow. 
Wow. You look... Wow. It's just the same old me, babe. Maybe. But now you're all mine. Everyone else can eat their heart out. <laughs> Kim! I haven't been home a long time. But when I first saw Tara and Kim together, I could feel a spark between them. I charge them now to nurture it and take care of each other, no matter what the future brings them. Kim, do you take Tara to be your wife? I do. And Tara, do you take Kim to be your spouse? Yes. <laughs> oh, they're so freaking cute. I now pronounce you married. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness. Come on, babe. Let's go home. I want to get packed up and shacked up. Now Sebastian won't rag on me for being single. Or maybe that's just wishful thinking. He is my little sib. Oh no. I didn't think about what to wear. Should I change? The ceremony is in the woods, so I think they're keeping it pretty casual. Besides, you could wear a potato sack and still look good. Hey, you too. Let's go. Hi, Cameron. Oh, it's such a lovely day for a wedding, no? Well, Angus thought it would be lovelier in our consciousness center, but alas, Francis was quite set on a civil ceremony, it seems. I am honored that Angus and Francis have chosen me, their mayor, to preside over their special day. Angus, do you take Francis to be your lawfully married by me husband? I do. And Francis, do you take Angus to be your husband? I do. I now pronounce you husband and husband. <laughs> <laughs> 